and welcome in this VHDL tutorial. So today we're going to simulate the NAND gate with uh, the model theme software. This is the NAND gate with two inputs we're going to simulate. Okay. So first we have to start with opening our software. Okay, now that it's open, we have to start by creating a new project. So we're going to name this project um, like an end gate. We're going to choose the location. We're going to create a new and we're going to name this file. Okay, let's leave it like that. Okay, then we're going to keep it the library name as default which is work and then okay next we have to create a new file in the library we created so create a new file then we'll name it nand1 and then we will hit okay and then we will close this okay so here in the library window, we have the work library added, but it's still empty because we didn't put anything in it yet. And in project, we have the, the file we added, which is NAND1. So if you double click on this, it opens um, an area where you can write the code. So for the sake of the video, I already have the code ready. So I'm just going to paste it. And then we're going to click on the, the file we created, the NAND one, and hit compile, and then compile selected. So the transcript said we have an error, so we have to go and check with the code. So, after checking, so the problem was, is I didn't save the code, so I have to save it first and then like hit compile in compile selected. So we can see here in the transcript that the compilation was successful. Okay, so then we're going to hit uh, simulate. And then we're going to choose start simulation. Then we're going to pick the file we want to simulate, which is in the work library we've made. And we're going to hit this and then hit OK. So this we're going to open this. Okay, so after this, we're going to be in the, we have this window, so you have to click on NAND, not identity, which is the one we're going to see the simulation of, and then right click and hit add to wave. And then we open the wave, and here we're going to find our two inputs and the output. And we can see by those arrows that the A and the B are the input and the F is the output because of the, the position of arrows. So what are we going to do is like to right click on A and choose force. And we're going to change the values of both variables A and B. And then we're going to run it and see uh, how it's going to react on this time uh, so we're going to choose to put A on 0 first and then the B on 0 okay so the, we, we don't have any 
to, to force a value to f, so we're going to hit cancel. Okay, so and then we're going to hit run. So if you see here, we have to zoom in, so like control n. We're going to see that the a variable is on zero, which is, this is a, the zero position of it. Same goes with the b. And since, um, like we saw here, the NAND gate, the output give us one when both of inputs are zero. So here we have the f on not on one see and then here we have a yellow line which show us uh, the position of each like the position of it, of each variable on this time like what's the value of it so next we're going to change the B force again to 1 and then we're going to hit 1 and then if we zoom out we can see here like that um that the value of B changed at the second at 100 nanoseconds we can see that the difference then we're going to put a on oh, force sorry on one and then the b we're going to put it back to zero and then we're going to see the difference again see so here the, the B went down to zero again because we changed it and then the A who's been for two times zero become one and it happens on 200 nanoseconds now we're going to see the final one which is on oh, this when we're going to put the B2 both of the inputs on one And then we're going to hit run and so yeah so oh sorry as you see here we have all the five oh no we lost it again okay we have both of them on one and then oh the NAND gate one to zero because according to the truth table we have it's like always one 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 and then it's zero when both of the input is one so that